First, we have video interpolation. Video interpolation allows us to predict missing video frames given both previous and subsequent frames. Essentially, it answers the question, what content should go in this missing video frame? For example, we can create slow motion footage from existing regular speed footage. We provide the model with a low frame rate video as input, then the model produces a high frame rate video as output. Video interpolation is useful for a variety of video editing tasks. For example, creating super slow motion videos using frame rate conversion, restoring old film strips from manual crank cameras with inconsistent frame rates, and smoothing out security footage recorded using a video multiplexer. Second, we have video prediction. Video prediction allows us to predictively synthesize future video frames based on a few preceding video frames. Essentially, it answers the question, what will likely happen next in this video? For example, given 10 frames of this golf video, we can predict the next 30 frames. We provide the model with a few frames of video as input, then the model produces a prediction of the next few frames of the video as output. Video prediction is currently an active area of research, so there aren't many practical applications yet. However, as you can imagine, this tool will likely be quite useful for a wide variety of video generation tasks in the near future. Third, we have video transfer, also known as video to video transfer. Video transfer allows us to synthesize entirely new videos from more simplified input videos. Essentially, it allows us to create entirely new videos from scratch. For example, we can use a semantically segmented video to produce a completely new video from scratch. We provide the model with a video containing semantically labeled pixels as input, then the model produces a realistic video that represents those labels as output. Video transfer is also an active area of research, so there currently aren't many practical applications. However, once again, you can imagine what we might be doing with this technology in the very near future. To learn more, please click the link in the description. For more content like this, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe.